My name is David Biddle, and last summer I was at the Midwest Renewable Energy Fair where the Revenge of the uh, Electric Car debuted with Chris Payne, and he showed it to all of us out there in, in Wisconsin. So when Daniel said it was going to be here in Brattleboro, I said, I've got to be there. And this time I've got my nice new electric car to bring with me. This car is a Chevrolet Volt. I can go from scratch, I can go 400 miles in this thing because it has a gas tank and a generator in the back that comes on when I use up all the electric charge that's in the batteries. The generator comes on and provides uh, electric current to run the electric motor. It only runs on an electric motor inside. There's a, there's a small story behind why I, I was invited to do this. I've never actually hosted an a, a, um, after-movie talk before, but I'd say around 25 or 30 years ago, I started getting into a, interested in electric cars, and it always seemed to be right around the corner where there was, uh, you know, new batteries coming online and new kinds of things, and so I started working on my skill set, and I learned how to weld, and I learned about computers, and <coughs> took various detours along the way, and got a, a workshop together, a milling machine, and all kinds of stuff, and, and so it's been 25 or 30 years now. So they had designs for these things years and years ago. And that's why it was such a pity to see the EV1 get destroyed because it was a great car and it was upgradable. You can throw in a new battery pack that would extend its range and every time the new battery designs came out, they could put in something new and you'd get a much better car out of the deal. So. But the interesting, one of the most interesting and fundamental things in all of this is Edison developed a battery for the electric car in 1913 and that car um, what's his face, the late night talk show guy, Jay Leno has one in his garage. He goes 100 miles on that car with the Edison batteries, which you wash the plates out of. And that's the same range you're getting today with electric cars. The trick is to get the battery technology to change and mature. And I think with all the investment and interest in that, that's going to happen in the next 10 years anyway, perhaps. Mm -hmm.